Daisy, can you tell us what inspires you and the art that you created for Daisy and the Dukes of Chuco? Daisy and the Dukes of Chuco, Chuco Waters World Rally, has a really vibrant palette. It took over a month to really come up with the palette of colors that I used for the book, which really uh, accentuates a cyberpunk world meets Fast and the Furious kind of story. I'm a huge fan of Rumiko Takahashi, who is a artist and writer, a mangaka, and she created Ranma One Half. Ranma One Half was the only comic, the only graphic novel that I ever bought with any regularity when I was a child. And uh, it highly influenced me uh, with her humor, her storytelling, um, in her proportions and style. I was a huge fan in every way. And so that, I think, was my biggest artistic inspiration, um, along with current artists like Lasan Thomas, uh, who does work for uh, programs like the Boondocks and uh, the Avatar, uh, and also Cora the Avatar. And so that was that's a huge influence for me, uh, creatively speaking. Um, but also, I really wanted to show technology and a world where technology is helping people and where things like AI is a tool where we're influenced by trying to preserve the planet. Within the book, there's a lot of technology that's actually in R&D at this moment. We might see that in actual our consumer electronics within the next 10 to 20 years, but I wanted to show it as if it was a part of our normal life now. We have 3D printed trains on a Mobius link. We have soft screens, we have renewable uh, energy, we have nuclear fusion that is consumable uh, by regular uh, people. And so I really wanted to have that be a, a major part of the story in order to influence the younger generation to take the final step to actually develop these things. Um, one of my favorite movies as a child was The Terminator 2. And in Terminator, there was a liquid Terminator that could turn into any shape. And that design...